Hello everyone, welcome back to a new episode of Lies of P. Last time we left off, we grew our hair out, you know, you know, it is looking pretty good. It's looking pretty good, got a little bit longer hair. And, uh, I don't think there's anything else for us to do here. Oh no, I was actually trying to talk to the Stargazer, Sophia, sorry. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, last time we were at the Lorenzini Arcade. We're in like a mall, basically. There are more records I need to listen to. Maybe I should make a point to do that a little bit this episode. Um, yeah. Oh, God. Use Monad's lamp in dark areas. I have not been doing that. But I haven't really been to an area that I felt was dark enough to warrant it, you know? <clears throat> it's felt... fine. Most of the time. So, do I still have my puppet destroyer thing on? No, I did take it off last time. Because, yeah, it's not really going to be useful here. Because we're not dealing with puppets anymore. Uh-huh. Hmm. I was like, I know there's more of you around. There you are. Whoop. Oh, you bastard. There you go. Now let's go over here and get wiggly. Oh god. Okay, you didn't care about me hitting you at all. Hi. Hello. Come on. There we go. The timing for that attack is very, very easy to get used to. I've definitely gotten used to it already. You just wait like a second after they actually get to you. And then you're good. Oh, I need the Lorenzini Arcade First Floor Key. There's a very dead person right there. Okay. So, uh, this path was, like, totally optional. Fortunately, none of you burst, like, through a door or something. Because, uh, unfortunately I can't really go in through windows. And this doesn't work, because, yeah, it's, it's, yep, it's messed up. <coughs> Alrighty. So, onwards. Trying to keep an eye out for these windows to try and make sure nothing else jumps out at me again. Oh, well that was certainly unexpected. That would have been a really cool entrance if I was looking up. Mm-hmm. None of that. No. I was about to say, how far are you gonna run? Oh, I didn't know that was an attack. Okay. Okay. That's probably gonna be pretty easy to... ...to block, if I can time it well. Okay, god, these things are a pain. That's what I need. Alright, I started comboing you and you were done. Cool. Yeah, that enemy's pretty terrifying, though. With those really, really long combos. Sometimes it is best, especially if it's your first time fighting it, to just block and not even try to go for parries. Hmm. Okay. Certainly would have been intimidating to look up and see that dork sitting there. No more enemies sitting around? Is it just this one? I really don't feel like it is. It surprisingly seems to be. Nope, there's one over there. I thought that was like the only spot that could have been. Alright, let's just get all that HP back with our guard regain, yeah? Radiant Ergo. Okay, we got some busts in here. A poopy mirror that doesn't work. Maybe I should be using the Monad's, uh... Lantern thing more, but I just, like... I don't know. I, there really hasn't been an area where I've felt like it's too dark, but... Maybe it has been on the video, and I just didn't realize. 
Well, would you look at that? I was about to say, I really hope this is an important item, otherwise I miss something back here. Very, very important. But, no, we're good. Do the sharpen your weapon dance. Alright, first floor. I did not expect to get that key that quickly. I thought this was going to be like a really prolonged shortcut that gets me back to the stargazer, but no. This is kind of an interesting area because it is basically just a bunch of hallways, but you can put a lot of stuff in here. I was about to say, I heard you behind me, you little bastard. There we go. Yeah, I heard something screaming behind me, so I was like, I'm just dodging backwards. I don't know what's coming, but I'm gonna be ready for it. Hmm. That's not what you want to see. That's not what you want to see at all. Okay. This is what I wanted to do. I wanted those things to kind of come down on me. Wait. It's alive? Before it was just like... Oh god. Before it was just like goo. But they're actually alive now? Before it was just like decay goo. But yeah, there's actually something in it now. Yeah, They look like regenerators from, uh... From Resi 4. Disgusting. Uh, okay, there's a big lad right there. What's down here? Nothing really. Okay, so now I need to get across there while also dealing with this dork. I remember you. <clears throat> you were in the uh, the Malum district. Saw a whole lot of you there. Okay, so should I move forward and then hit that, or okay, there are puppets here. Oh, this is one of the kind of scary puppets. Yeah. Hmm. I wonder which one's the dead end. This one or that? Might be this. This looks kind of dead indie. Um. Okay. You don't look like you're gonna be fun to deal with. Unless I do that. Still don't really look like you're gonna be fun to deal with, though. Can I, uh. Really backing myself into a corner here. Okay, we need to back up. I kind of have an idea, maybe, actually. No, that missed! <laughs> I was so ready for that to hit. That doesn't work. Ow. Can't see, Captain! God fucking damn it. My lock on lost and would not go back on. So I couldn't see what the actual attack was doing. God. That sucks. That sucks. But that was a difficult enemy. I'd been going for a while, so... It makes sense. I didn't really have a lot of heals or anything left. Would you not? God. Sometimes, like, uh, sometimes my lock-on doesn't go on when I need it to, which is probably just because I'm in a weird position and that's screwing it up, but it sucks when you're trying to get your lock-on <clears throat> on and, uh, can't do it. Whoop. Oh, you did get the grab. You and your stupid command grab. 
Really surprised that doesn't decay me at all. Like, at all? I would have expected it to. Oh. Uh... There we go. Oh, oh my god, I forgot you were here, you stupid little prick. Duh! Drive, shop, 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 yourself. You fucker. Forgot you were here. I was trying to ambush the baby, and then I remembered you were here. Ugh. Mm-hmm. There you go. Beautiful. Alright, um, we should go this way this time just to see if there's like a shortcut or something over here I can grab. There's a... Whatchamacallemem. Nearby. Okay, oh is this a big one? Oh god, it fights back. There we go. Half Moonstone. Ooh! From across the rift. That's a trophy. Okay, well I have my first half moonstone, so I can finally upgrade this weapon again. I was wondering if we were gonna get one of those. No better time than right then, I suppose. Okay, this has gotta lead to a shortcut. Come on. Or it just leads right over here. You're very, very cute. Oh god, you're the scary puppet. God, you're the scary puppet. Fuck, can you calm down ever? Fucking hell! <laughs> God damn it. You have to do a fully charged attack to break him there. I should have backed off and healed, but I was like, I think I have enough time because it's in like a. It's in like a calm down state after it does that like fucking absurd attack where it hits like 60 times while also moving forward. God, that attack is spooky. I managed to parry a few of them, but it just goes forever. It just goes and goes and goes. Don't want to fall down there. No, I did not mean to hit L2. I like grazed it with my finger and PlayStation's like, oh yeah, here's your Fulminus that you wanted. Here's the Fulminus you ordered. No, I didn't order a Fulminus. I'm just running straight up here. There. All right, we will deal with the puppets. There we go. Those other dorks can stay down there. I'm not dealing with them. Stop with your incredibly slow wind-up attacks, you stupid wannabe hollows. Oh my god. The problem with these things is they don't break, ever. Or, they're very hard to, to break the poise of, at least. Okay, well, I already got the item that was there. You don't actually exist there. What the hell? There you are. I was about to say, I don't see you there. God. Fuck you. You piece of shit. God, that's like the scariest puppet that you can run into and I don't even know what it is. Oh, I was like, why are you freaking out? You're trying to throw something at me. From up above. Oh, okay. Believe we are good now. I can sneaky sneaky on you. Bing, you're dead. Oh. Yeah, this area is just awash with dangerous enemies. I must say. So it has this big asshole down here. Okay, this isn't decay. At least, it just... Hurts me. Or er, slows me, rather. Okay, I just wanna... Oh, you're telling me I can't roll through those? I would like to open a shortcut or something before dealing with you, friend. What? Okay, I guess we're dealing with you. Because there's like... 
a lever or something around here I gotta pull, I guess? I suppose so. Yep. Because that gate's not opening. Ow. Did it just say die? I feel like it definitely did. Okay. Well, I certainly did do that. I respected your wishes, friend. And died right before your eyes. Yeah, I was kind of running through there to see if there was a way to open that door or get a shortcut or something, but... The door would not open. Very, very weird. That thing's existence is agony. No. No. I'm going down here. You can't get me when I'm down here. I mean, you probably can, but... Can you not? Heal. No. No, I really, really don't need you coming down here right now, you little you weird fucker. Oh my god, and you have a command grab too? Oh god. Running past them all was a bad idea. At least I picked my shit back up. Oh god, you're even coming? How did you even wake up? Okay, okay, no, we need to, we need to deal with the situation, I think. Why, why do those miss every time? Ow. Okay. Try to filter you all through the stairs, why don't we? Use a choke point. Fuck me. Stupid weapon. <laughs> oh, you would back up. Oh. I tried to dodge it, but yeah, that doesn't work on a command grab. You're just gonna grab me anyway. Okay. Slowly take them out. God. Sometimes running past all the enemies does not work out. This is one of those instances. There we go. That's what I was trying to do before. No. Bad. <sighs> Alright. Hi, friend. Eat thermite. Ooh, I blocked that. Go down. Come on. There we go. Oh. Where did you even come from? Go away. <laughs> I got a new frame. Yay. Oh my god, all of that for a frame. Oh my god. Okay, now what was I missing while running around this damn room? Jeez. God, this entire last 10 minutes of the video has just been the Benny Hill music playing. That's the first time in this game I've ever seen a door that opened upon death of a creature, right? Usually in these games, you can just run past the enemy and open the door yourself, but that one was like, uh, uh, uh. Alright. <sighs> okay. Um, yeah. That, it's big, and it reduces physical damage. Made to order items specific to LADA, the Puppet Parts Workshop. It has been in use for a long time, so despite being heavy, it is reliable. Cool. Very, very cool. Oh, my goodness. Please give me a shortcut. Please. Okay, I see you walking around out there. Nobody behind the, the changing screen. Ooh, Monad Charity House concert. 
All of you are invited to the concert being held at the Monad Charity House. We pray for the successful opening of the exhibition. Children sponsored by the Monad Charity House have a message of love and hope for all of you. Don't miss this chance to listen to the most innocent performance in all of Kratz. Sponsored by Lady Isabel and Sophia M. All profits from the performance will go to our less fortunate neighbors. Sophia, and this these are also the children that it specifically mentioned when it said the Puppet King's Ergo, like, could be them or something. Oh, I need that. Okay. Hi. No. None of that, please. Bang. There we go. Hmm. That area doesn't look great. At least we finally managed to make our way over here. Okay, and this probably leads up to... Huh. Not a shortcut. What the hell is that thing? Oh, I can't open that. Oh, fuck me. There's two? Uh-uh. Uh-uh. No, 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 if this opens, that is. It doesn't open. Well, I don't really have a choice, do I? Don't really have a choice. Okay, you're simple. Bye-bye. Yeah, you tried to go boom on me, but it didn't work, so... You know... Kinda considering, uh... On my usable items menu putting uh, some of these fable cells that I keep getting a billion of fable catalysts sorry cuz um sometimes I just need some extra stuff to use that and I have been kind of saving them up all game well somebody did not miss arm day maybe a little bit of leg day but definitely not arm day As a big lad. Okay, let's get an idea for like your move set. Holy shit. Okay, I don't want an idea of your move set anymore. Okay, that did pretty good damage. Um Can I hit you with one more of those? Okay, you're burning good. Okay. Hit you. Am I kinda cheesing you a little bit? Mm-hmm. You gotta do what you gotta do in these games, okay? If you gotta do a little bit of cheddar, that's fine. A little bit of cheese never hurt anybody. In fact, you know, it's 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 great. Whoop. Just don't get hit by that damn thing. Whatever you do. Heard noises, so I was kinda scared. Whoop! Oh, get out of there! Oh, you're large. Uh-huh. Okay, well now you got all of that going on. Uh-huh. Whoa. Whoa. Okay. I just know. I just know that the shortcut is after this, too. Oh, my God. What are you? Look at it. You're like a super messed up version of the humans we've been seeing. God. There are definitely instances in, like, at least the Souls games where the game absolutely intends you just to cheese something because it's like, come on. Come on. It's absolutely absurd otherwise. Okay. At least I know you're kind of easy to avoid now. If I do decide that I'd need to do that... I say that, and now I'm gonna, like, super, super die. Do you see me and are walking towards me currently? I think you do, and are. Well, I'm just gonna circumvent right past you, if you don't mind. You're super slow, so... 
No, not dealing with it. Not dealing with it. Fuck you. Whoop! Okay, I thought it was about to explode. Oh! No, now you're about to explode. Go away! God, stop having babies! These are not things I want babies for. God. <sighs> okay. That big thing is back there. But we're good. I don't think there's anything I've missed here. I think we just need to go in here. Where is my shortcut? I'm so sad and scared. I was freaking out about what that was and it's a plant leaf. I can't take this stress anymore, Eliza P. Hope I haven't, like, accidentally missed one. Oh my god, there's something. No, we're- before we're checking out the bathroom or any of that jazz, we're going over here. Oh my god! Ugh. Finally! God, that was a trek! That was a trek to get over here. Jesus. Okay, who's gonna be hanging out in the bathroom? Nobody? Scandal! A v, the tragedy behind the flamboyance. Few citizens of crap do not know who V is. The crown prince of high society, the man who came up with the grand covenant of the automated puppets and built the best manufacturing company at the age of 18. The man who's also fancy and is passionate about making people laugh. V is the most hated and beloved man in crowd, but his innocent passion makes even his opponents sentimental. However, even fewer people are aware of the tragedy he experienced in his youth. I don't know why I gave it that voice, but it just seemed right. The true nature of the death of V's parents was covered up. Officially, they're victims of a homicide during a mugging. Even though V experienced such a tragedy in his youth, he grew up with a cheerful personality and became a well-known person whom any parents would be proud of. However, there's no one who knows that V secretly requests for the case history every year and that his request is always denied. Suspicion surrounded this tragedy at the time, and there is known to have been pressure from the workshop and the alchemist throughout the investigation. The most interesting hypothesis is that the murderer is not human. If this is true, it explains the workshop and the alchemist's suspicious attempts to cover it up. It also explains how V was obsessed with inventions and success from his youth. This is where the real tragedy of Krat lies. Even V, the richest and most influential man in all of Krat, can't come close to their power. Yeah, so the idea is that you're the crown prince and your parents were straight up murdered by a puppet that was probably sent by the workshop and alchemists. On the other hand, this fact includes another truth. Have you noticed? The state's censorship is keeping me from writing it, but as a writer, I'm curious if people are ready to accept the truth. The truth that there's a murderer made of steel that walks among us. Perhaps our world of Krat is not such a safe place after all. Yeah. I mean, the elite are going to use whatever they can do to stay in power, you know? And, uh, if the people at the top of the totem pole are the people that make the thing that you're currently well known for, yeah, that's gonna be a problem. Because they can just, uh, silence you with that, so... Whew. Alright. Hope you've enjoyed this particularly stressful episode of Liza P. And I'll see you next time for some more.